and welcome back everybody. This is another episode of New Horizons, my let's play slash discovery of the Feed the Beast Horizons pack. Uh, right now I'm just standing outside my farm because I figured it would be a nice change of pace instead of the cold open inside of my house over there, which is quickly becoming a mess of stone and wood. Um, today I want to do something a little different. Um, I've heard that that dungeon that I explored a while back actually had some additional layers that I missed. Uh, we're going to go back and check that out just to make sure that I didn't skip anything. But before we do that, we're going to play around with a mod called Arcane Scrolls. Arcane Scrolls have these little uh, arcane stones here that spawn all over the place. They're really common when you're mining. Um, and they let you basically create magical scrolls to do various things like uh, UI. There we go. Scroll Vitality, Debilitation, Frost, Fire, so I'm assuming damage and stuff. Um, there's also some other interesting things, like the Arcane Sword, Arcane Wards, which I think is for PvP only. Um, I don't know what this is, but I like the name Useless Stick. And Anchor Stones. Um, I think you use this Arcane Pouch here to store these Arcane Stones, because otherwise they take up a ton of space. Um, but anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and craft some of this stuff up and see if we can figure out how it works and what it does. So, I will see you all in a minute. We're just going to go ahead and go back inside and get ready for some crafting. Alright, I should have most of what I need to get started on this stuff right here. I went ahead and harvested my uh, cotton farm, so we're just going to head go ahead and make all this stuff in the string. You know, I think I could actually make this directly into wool. No, I can't. Never mind. Alright, so yeah, string it is. There we go. Alright. This uh, wool, the cotton farm, should come in handy later when I try to do my hand at a airship, but that's a while off yet. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make an arcane pouch, which should be just six pieces of wool around an arcane stone. Let's see if this works. It did, and that's always a relief. Alright, so we got that. Alright, so right now this is AE0. I'm going to go ahead and right click. Now it says 4050. Let's see what happens if I right click again. Nothing. Nothing if I left click, so if I shift right click, it takes a rune stone out and it takes 50 AE away from the pouch. Alright, let's see. Yep. Okay, so it looks like every arcane stone you get is worth 50 AE. Alright, so that's interesting. Um, the next thing we're going to go for is the arcane tome, which is four stones around a book. Just so happens I have four stones. All right, let's check this thing out. All right, table of contents: utility scrolls, vitality. Ooh, coat vitality heals you two hearts, restores two chicken nuggets. I think that means the little uh, shanks haunches. Cleansing cleanses you of all potion effects and distinguishes you. That's interesting. Smelt all ore in your inventory. Places a torch on the ground. Opens a connection to your under storage. Oh, that's interesting. Um, I'm thinking that this unlock level here actually refers to um, experience levels. I'm not too terribly sure. I'll need to test, and unfortunately, the best way for me to test this is probably to die or maybe to enchant something. Um, let's see, debilitation. Causes all entities within AoE to slow down and weakens their attacks. That's uh, spelled wrong, but sure. Um, frost. Damage. Uncovering. Ooh, removes all armor. Oh, that's neat. Swaps places with the furthest player within the AoE. And these are just mostly damage, it looks like. Though I do kind of want to test that. Alright, and like these, I can't do anything with right now. I don't know why. Uh, 
All right. Oh, it's got the recipe list. I don't know what the anchor stones are, and I'm not sure if I want to use a diamond to find out. Nor am I sure if I want to do the uh, arcane sword. What I do need to do, though, before I get any further, is I need to go ahead and make some paper, which I think I can use this hemp for. Yes, I can. Right, and I also need some quills. Uh, feather and ink, right? There we go. Let's go ahead and make eight. So we'll go ahead and open this arcane tome back up. Um, just to start off, I'm going to go with a... Uh... You know what, let's go with storage. So I click that, and now it's... Oh, yeah, see, check it out. It, took, it did take away levels. Before I was up to 28, now it's down to 15. So it did. It took away 13 levels to do that. Alright, so now I can write scrolls. I wonder if that permanently unlocks it or if I have to pay that every single time. You know, I forgot to do something. I need to take the paper and do that. Now, considering you craft this paper into the unwritten scrolls one-to-one, -one, I kind of wish it would just use paper. All right, and I don't need to do that, so let's go in here, right-click again. We'll go to Write Scrolls, Storage, um, Amount. I wonder if it's the number of scrolls to write. Let's go ahead and tell it two. There we go. Now we have a scroll of storage. Um, just to make sure I don't use one I don't need to. Okay, so it has an AE cost of 25, so I'm assuming it'll take 25 out of this pouch. And I'm guessing that it will consume the scroll itself. Let's close this up. I do not want to repeat it the other day. Okay, and that's close too. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and right click. There we go, and that gives me the contents of my ender chest. Let's go ahead and put that in there. So that did. It consumed my scroll and it took away 25A. Okay. Now, if I were smart, I would have set up an ender chest so that I could actually check that. Um, uh, we'll check it out later when we go back to the dungeon. Uh, let's see what else we have in here. Alright, so I guess that means that it's permanently unlocked now that it's uh, this pinkish color. I guess once you unlock this, this would be a good way to turn simple paper and feathers into damage. Actually, if you have a chicken farm, it could be pretty freaking strong. See what else we have in the utility section. Let's go with the. Uh, you know what? Hey, let's go with cooking. Alright, go ahead and write just one this time. Alright, so it looks like it's mostly just going to be cooking this uh, potato and beef. So let's give it a go. Son of... that's pretty freaking awesome, actually. And after getting the actual investment into it, the only thing that cost me was a piece of paper, a feather, an ink sack, and that's it. And you are able to use any black dye when you make the quills, so as long as you have something moderately renewable, this has no cost. Alright. Tell you what, let's go ahead and play around and see what this anchor stone does. 
I'm going to need four of these arcane stones and a diamond. Getting low on these, I need to go mining again. Alright, I need some arcane stones, so one, two, three, four. Alright, anchor stone. Alright, so I guess right click? Anchor stone. Oh, it stores where I'm at. A cost one. Is this teleportation? I think this is teleportation. Uh, tell you what, let's go ahead and run over here to this village. Well, this used to be village. Alright. Almost there. Ooh, a little pocket of quicksand. Alright, we're in the village. We'll go ahead and go into the uh, Tinker's house that we tore up at the very beginning. Yeah, there's nothing in there we need. Alright. Anchor stone. Okay, so it has the old coordinates. It's got the dimension of zero, which is overworld. And the AE cost went up. It's now 69. Alright, so apparently the AE cost is based on the distance that you are from the set location. So let's go ahead and do another right click on this thing. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so we keep the stone. It's good to be used again, it looks like. And the only thing it did is deduct the AE cost from our pouch. Okay, that I like. I like that, definitely. Let's go ahead and make another one. I wonder if there's a way to clear the contents of the anchor stone. Uh, we'll find that in a sec. I also wonder if this works across dimensions. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's go to the nether. go. Our little ugly yet functional safe house. So it still has the correct coordinates, has the right dimension, except the cost is 200 now. It looks like it does look, work across dimensions. Let's try. Okay, that's just awesome. I like this. I really do. Come on, load up world. Alright. Um, let's see if I shift right click this, if it does anything different. Okay, so I just use shift right click. It looks like it cleared the anchor stone's location. So if I do another right click now, I should store this as the setting. Alright, that's nice. No, I think I liked it right here. This was a good spot. So we're going to go shift right click to clear it. And then right click. Alright, so now this will always take me back to this part of my house. Um, now as for this one right here, I think we're going to use this right... Well, we don't need to use it right now. Um, wow, where do I really need quick travel to, though? I've not really found anything really important other than the stronghold over that way. Um, I'll tell you what, we'll put this away until we get to the... Um, dungeon over there a little bit later. We'll go ahead and mark a spot so that I'm able to get back there a little bit easier without all the walking. Bring on the laziness. Alright, for now we're going to go ahead and just put these in our sack. Because those things are awesome. Alright, so is there anything else in here that I can make now? I wonder what greed does. These look to be the uh, special ones right here. Alright, 
right, so to make the arcane blade, six gold, two stones, a diamond, an emerald, wood, stick, and bat wings. I don't think I have bat wings. No, I take that back. I know for a fact I don't have bat wings. Okay, so that's not going to happen. Alright, what I am going to do though, I'm going to go ahead and plant up some of this uh, sugar cane, and then we're going to go head over to the dungeon. After I get some food. Alright, and we're back here at the uh, dungeon. I think I left my entrance like right over here. Uh, you know what, we're just going to go through the roof. I didn't bring an axe. And I'm too lazy to punch wood, this is quicker. So what we're going to do real quick is we're going to go ahead and take out one of my anchor stones here, and I'm going to make this a waypoint. So I'm going to shift right click. Uh, no, excuse me, just right click. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's see how much it costs to go home from here. 341. That's not terrible, but that's like a tenth of what I have, I think. Oh, it's a little bit more than a tenth. I need to get me some more uh, stones. We'll go ahead and put this back in the bag, and we'll hold this one on the hotbar just in case we need to run away. Oh, I had some stones. If you can't tell by now, I'm kind of terrible when it comes to organizing stuff. Oh, look, and there's the dirt, so it the storage thing does work right, so that's awesome. Let's go ahead and... There we go. Okay, so anyway, I was told that this place actually goes deeper than I had explored it. Um, I think I know where it goes deeper. It's by a room that I found a combination skeleton and zombie spawner, though I didn't actually explore it on camera. So I've not found the entrance yet, but if you look down here through the water, you can actually see that there is another layer. Um, the only trick is figuring out where the heck I get in there from. See, it looks like this layer of cobblestone, and there looks to be a cross. Um, so right now the search is going to continue for the entrance to the other layer. I don't want to just go down and poke my head through the wall. I'd like to actually find out where the entrance is. Um, and I seem to have hit F9. There we go. Alright, so I will be uh, right back as soon as I actually find the staircase. Success! I believe I found it. It's inside of this dungeon here. There is This looks to be the staircase. So let's go ahead and clear this stuff off and plug some holes. That's one. So yeah, I did come through here, but I totally missed the staircase last time. Let's go ahead and get some of the stuff ready to go. I won't need the bat wing. I might need the cobblestone. Well, check this out. How the heck did I miss all this? So any direction looks as... Oh, I take that back. That direction does not look so good. Um, let's go ahead and turn off the uh, spawning areas. Pretty much any space in here is a spawning area. cobblestone. I'll take that. 
Where am I being shot from? Let's go ahead and get some uh, gravel. That's a spider spawner. And there's apparently a zombie spawner nearby too. Hello. Quick little bugger. Look, another one of those uh, pits of doom. And anytime I place anything here, I trigger a block update. I don't like that. Gotta be honest, this might have been a little bit more terrifying if this hadn't spawned underwater. As it is, a lot of the danger is removed by the fact that mobs can't spawn in water. Goodbye, spider spawner. Poison the spiders. Son of a... Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. I need to come back here with a lot more cobblestone. Is a lot more cobblestone. <laughs> Alright, so I think what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and head back to my base real quick. I'm going to pick up some supplies and drop some stuff off, so if I do die, I don't lose anything of value. Oh, there's a lot of water. That looks to be another creeper spawner. Gold care earns her. Yep, not going that way. Too much water. <laughs> Tell you what, let's get back to the central staircase and I'll go ahead and set my uh, anchor stone to recall to there. That way I can get back here quick. Instead of running through the upper layers again. Where am I going? I'm going this way. Oh my. Yep, going. Got it. And here is the central hub. Let's go ahead and block this off for now. Um. I hesitate to say this is safe, but this should be safe-ish. 
Okay, so this is the one for my house, and this is the one for the dungeon. So shift right click clear, right click set. Okay, let's go home. Oh, that's just great. Okay. So what I am going to need, I'm going to need to get some cobblestone. I'm going to want to go ahead and temporarily stow away some of the stuff that I've gotten already. All right, so it looks like my time's actually getting a little bit long here. Rather than go ahead and chop this to pieces, I'm going to go and make this into two different videos. Uh, the one we're going to put out here is going to be focusing mostly on the arcane scrolls and then finding the dungeon. And then I will be back next time to actually see what awaits me on the lower levels of the uh, roguelike dungeon that we have over there. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave a message below, and thank you for watching.